This is a video I've been wanting to make for a while now, but it seemed difficult to put into words. Team Fortress 2 is one of my favorite games of all time. In fact, it's the favorite game of hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of people. Yet it seems that not a single employee at Valve feels the same way. I have very few kind words to say about Valve these days, which is weird because they're some of the smartest people to ever work on games, yet the basic act of PR seems to be completely alien to them. They kind of remind me of Nintendo in that way, but somehow worse, whereas, you know, Nintendo completely ignores their fans and actively punishes creativity, Valve seems to ignore their fans and let them do whatever they want, like, uh, like an irresponsible parent. It's been four years since TF2 got any kind of major update. In fact, as of writing this video, it has been approximately 1,418 days since Jungle Inferno. This is so odd to me, as Valve, and their half-assed attempt at dealing with bots, yielded the highest player count ever recorded in the game's history, and they didn't even bat an eye. If the response to a baby patch was that incredible, imagine the reaction to an actual, real update. I started playing in early 2013. My first major update was Robotic Boogaloo, followed by that one nameless major summer update, and then the Saxies, Scream Fortress 5, Two Cities, Smith Smith for a new player, that was amazing. I remember thinking back then, this game was already unlike anything I had ever seen. No game I had ever played before had done something like this. There were frequent blog posts, fun lore sprinkled throughout the updates, and obviously, they were updates. A few nights ago, I took a trip down memory lane and went through the entire TF blog all the way back to the first post, and what I saw made me pretty upset. When you looked at the blog post, you saw who wrote it, and you went from seeing famous names like Robin Walker, Dave Riller, Brandon Reinhardt, and those names turned into TF2 Team. Remember when the posts were written by actual in-game characters? You know, Soldier, Scout, Heavy, The Administrator, Francis the Talk in France? What happened to those? Those turned into TF2 Team. We went from acknowledging fan cosplay, posting fan art, memes, fan trailers, and basic things like map design, behind the scene developments, how a gun gets made, how they think about player balances, to nothing. Nothing at all. What happened? What are some of your favorite games out right now? Imagine if the company that made your favorite game released it, and then completely ignored their audience in every way, anytime they asked for a sequel, or maybe a patch to fix a bug that totally corrupts your save data. Does that make sense? Okay, well let's go more modern. Have you ever noticed that never once have you heard Fortnite or Apex players complain that their game doesn't get updated? If a Fortnite player went four years without a major update, they would have all dropped the game by now. You never hear CSGO players complain about how unfairly Valve treats them. Left 4 Dead 2 got an update before TF2. Quake got an update before TF2. Something that really broke me recently was when I checked the blog and saw this. The RGL Highlander Grand Finals, you know, the official TF2 competitive esport, with a prize pool of barely a thousand dollars, which is less than I make a month at my minimum wage job. One thousand dollars split between nine people comes out to roughly, uh, well, that much per player. Any other competitive player in any other tournament or game would walk out if that was the prize. On that note, Let's take a look at the most recent CSGO tournament and, uh, wow, would you look at that? Yeah, that hurts. But then I really saw red flags. You know Tip of the Hats, that charity event held every year that primarily focuses on TF2 content, among other games, but TF2 being the game that popularized it and has their hat in the game? Yeah. The drop in support for it and moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Valve needs to get their head out of their ass and realize how much this game means to people. Because before long, they're going to be standing there, wondering what happened when every major content creator, tournament organizer, charity fundraiser pulls out support and abandons them. Let's circle back to what I said earlier. I started in 2013 and was exposed to everything what TF2 should be. Constant updates, communication, memorable videos up the ass, it was amazing! I had extremely high hopes and expectations set in place because of that. What does a new player have to look forward to? The heavy update that we weren't actually even promised? Issue 7 of a bi-monthly comic that hasn't had a new issue in four years. We're never going to be told how that story ends, by the way. Mark Laidlaw's NDA had to expire before he told us about Half-Life 3. TF2 fans shouldn't have to shoot a guerrilla-style video like they're shooting illegal footage in the Vietnam War just to be told that updates are coming. From someone who, by the way, hasn't actually had any real developmental control over Valve in years. 
I care about this game because I love it. Why don't they? Why don't they understand how much this game means to so many people? This game has left a giant cultural impact on the internet since its inception. It's why to this day people still play Team Fortress Classic and make mods like Open Fortress, Pre Fortress, TF2 Classic, and so many others. That's the problem. You don't give a damn. And my problem is I care too much. Why don't Dota fans ever complain about how Valve treats them? They act as if TF2 just doesn't exist, but they won't even let it exist and grow into its massive potential. Do we have to get lucky and hope some new age popular streamer plays the game and reignites the player base? You could probably sum this video up by saying that I miss TF2 having an actual presence on the internet, which you could argue it does. Memes are probably the only thing keeping this game alive right now. You can't deny that you didn't see a meme before actually knowing what the game was. Team Fortress 2 deserves better, because to me, it'll never stop being the most fun you can have online. Hey everybody, Waylon here, coming at you from the future thanks to the marvel of editing. Most of you over here on this channel probably remember me from those TF2 lore videos I made a few years ago that were eh, probably a little too long. But I'm here to announce that, thanks to encouragement from the likes of Sin and a few others, I've started my very own TF2 focused YouTube channel. There, I'll be re-uploading some older videos, things that didn't quite fit in with my old channel, and of course, I'll be uploading new stuff. No set upload schedule yet, but I hope you'll check it out, show your support, and stick around for more. See you guys then!